Schools out for Fargo and West Fargo students, meaning some of the kids that depend on school lunches will now be fending for themselves. The summer food program is filling that void for thousands of children. It ensures low-income children can get nutritious meals, but the program is open to any income level. As Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop explains, they serve up to more than 45,000 meals to hungry kids in the FM and Grand Forks area. Pasta, veggies, and peaches are scooped into little mouths at Jefferson School. The pasta tastes very good. The room full of children attending the YMCA summer camp help themselves to seconds. This location, along with 13 others in West Fargo, Fargo, and Moorhead, will serve a lunch, snack, and even breakfast to anyone under 18 until the end of August. Any child can come and have a meal during the times that we have posted for each site. Temke says most children that qualify for free and reduced lunch take advantage of the program. She says people in the community don't realize how many kids are in need. We did over 30,000 meals throughout the community last year. And that's just for children? Just for children, okay. yes. In Grand Forks, the numbers are similar. Just last year, St. Joseph's Social Care provided more than 18,000 meals from the start of June to the end of July. And seeing the kids coming from all over, out of alleys and apartment buildings and houses, and I thought, they're coming from a place where there's no food and we can help them. It makes me feel really proud. In Fargo, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. The Grand Forks Summer Food Program starts next week, and the YMCA of Cass Clay is still looking for volunteers to help serve dinner at their one location. To find a list of the locations, volunteer information, and meal times, click on this story on our website at valleynewslive.com.